We're melting candy canes today in our little shot glasses and we're gonna fill them with all things Christmas. Welcome back to Chili's Baked Cakes. To start out making these little shot glasses made out of melted candy cane, we have to have our little shot glass silicone mold. This mold is oven safe, so you can put it right in the oven. We're gonna melt down these candy canes so they will form into little shot glasses. So I just crushed some candy canes in my bag. Just crush them up pretty good. They don't have to be super, super fine, but crush them up pretty well. And we're gonna push this crushed candy cane right into these molds. Push it in there, make sure it's packed in there really well so that you don't have any air pockets when your candy canes are melting in there. So just fill it up to the very top cover. You can see I'm kind of doing the sides and then cover it all the way to the top. And then I put the oven at 325. And we're just gonna put it in there and it took about almost 45 minutes to an hour till they were nice and melted in there. And I did check them and I actually put a few more candy cane pieces on top because it was melting down and I wanted the bottom to be nice and flat. So if you need to add a little bit more candy cane, just check them, you're gonna make them. Once they were done cooking, I pulled them out just when I saw that they were pretty much melted. After that, I set them in the freezer to cool off and then I pushed them right out of our molds. And you can see this is what the bottom of the candy cane cup looks like. Just kind of melted. That's what it looks like when it's done. And now we're gonna fill these fun candy cane shot glasses. The first candy cane shot glass, we're gonna fill with chocolate pudding or chocolate mousse. And we're just gonna fill it up right in our little shot glass, guys. Our next candy cane shot glass, we're gonna fill it up with some brownies. I just made some brownies. We're gonna put them right into this cup. We're gonna top it off with some hot fudge, of course, and some sprinkles. And maybe just that cute candy cane spoon just for fun. Next, we are gonna fill this one with peppermint ice cream because what goes better with peppermint candy cane glasses than peppermint ice cream? And then we are just gonna top it off with a few sprinkles. Our last but not least peppermint shot glass, we're gonna fill it with hot chocolate. I just poured a little bit of hot chocolate and then we are topping it off with some whipped cream, of course, and some sprinkles. candy cane shot glasses are super fun and festive. We filled them with all things Christmas, treats, and magic, and it's just fun. I, my kids are gonna wanna eat them all when we get home. They're so much fun. Be careful because they will shatter and break, which it did happen and it's very sad. <laughs> but all is fair in love and war in the baking world. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching here at Chili's Bakes Cakes as we made these super fun candy cane made shot glasses. Make sure and subscribe to my channel guys and have an awesome day.